Well, what's up, cinema lovers, and welcome to another episode of Two Eye Cinema. I am your host, Sharem. Here on Two Eye Cinema, you know I like to give my opinion on some of the most popular pieces of cinema in the world. In today's episode, I will be doing a run through and review of Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 8. Now, let's get into it. On that note, don't forget to check out our merch options provided by KLB Supply at klbsupply.com. Follow Too High Cinema and KLB Supply on Twitter and Instagram at Too High Cinema at Too High Club and KLB Supply. Now let's get back into it. The Mandalorian and Dune board an Imperial shuttle and capture Dr. Pershing. They enlist the help of Bo-Katan and Cusker Reeves to rescue Grogu. In return, Bo-Katan will get Gideon's cruiser and the Dark Saber while the Mandalorian considers helping her liberate Mandalore. They use the shuttle to get close enough to crash land on Gideon's cruiser, with Fett pretending to attack them in Slave 1. Bo-Katan, Koska Shan, and Dune fight through stormtroopers to the cruiser's bridge. The Mandalorian finds the dark troopers, barely defeats one of them with the Beskar spear, and ejects the rest into space. He fights Gideon with the spear and overpowers him, making Mandalorian the new rightful owner of the Dark Saber. The Dark Troopers fly back onto the ship, but are all destroyed by Luke Skywalker, the Jedi that Grogu contacted on Tython. The Mandalorian gives Grogu permission to go with Skywalker and R2-D2 to complete his training. In a post credit scene, Fett and Shan travel to Jabba's palace on Tatooine, where Fett kills Bib Fortuna and claims the throne. All right, lights, an amazing way to start the season finale. It was a quick dog fight, but that first scene between Dune and the guy holding the clone doctor hostage was like what I would love to explore more in Star Wars titles, the politics of it, the different perspectives of the state of the galaxy. All the years Star Wars has been around, I have never thought about all the people that died on the Death Star. One character in one scene out of all these years made me think about those people for one second. The next scene, yo, Bo-Katan, did not have to come for Boba Fett like that, calling his father a donor. Mad disrespectful, but <laughs> gangster as hell nonetheless. Yo, that best car is impenetrable. Yo, how Mando was taking face punches from dark troopers just didn't make sense. Uh, the Luke Skywalker reveal in the end was dope, but that deep fake was kind of like elementary grade, if you ask me. Uh, nice reveal, but I could it could have looked a little better. Um, I couldn't look at it without being disturbed. Overall, a great episode, great way to end the season. So now I'm great. So now for comedy, I'm definitely gonna give it dank, drama dank, action dank, horror dank. Thank you again, cinema lovers, for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and place the notifications bell on all if you want to see more content from us. Comment below to suggest any content. Follow us at KLB Supply, at Too High Cinema, and at Too High Club on all social media platforms for updates. And for now, smoke you later.